I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. This is part three of how to make a bezel setting for a faceted stone. We're going to continue digging into the details so you have everything you need to know. So I'm going to cut a strip of my fine silver, the height that, that we determined. Because um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up to that point, we're going to cut a strip, and then I want everybody to get their metal, we'll cut strips, then I'll do a demo and we'll do it. Because that's what we're going to do all day. I'll like, we'll come together to demo, discuss, whatever. You go back to your seat, you try it, and I'll be, you know, looking over your shoulder and helping you. Okay? And what you normally want to do is you need to want to like have a straight edge first so you get this straight. If I didn't have one, I could take a ruler, but usually when you buy these sheets, there's at least one straight edge already built in. So I'm going to take advantage of that. You see how you just run that little leg right by there? That way it's nice and straight. Now cutting straight. A lot of people think they can't cut straight and it's a little nerve wracking. Cutting straight is all about your posture, okay? When people are trying to cut, if you're like this or like this or the, you know what I mean? Any of these angles, if your torso is turned, it's almost impossible to cut straight. So however contorted you may sit normally, when you're gonna cut, like pause and like, you know, feet on the ground, face nice and straight like this, because that way I can line this up right here and line my scissors up, you know what I mean, at 90 degrees. Because you always have to remember that the concept of something that's straight doesn't exist. Straight is always in relation to something else. So you have to give yourself something else to work from. Like this is straight. You know what I mean? If you're just out in the air, how could you possibly get something straight? Okay. So I'm using the Joyce Chen's because these are my favorite scissors. They cut really well, but you know, whatever floats your boat. And always remember, of course I got that caught in there. The tidier you keep everything as you go, the less cleanup and aggravation you have. So that's why, like I said, a lot of what I teach you is about how do you cut straight? How do you like do all those things so that you don't spend as much time uh, sanding and filing? Because if you do that and you practice, you know, you'll end up with a pretty nice straight strip. So I want everybody now to get out their dividers or borrow a pair of dividers and get out your sheet or go buy some sheet, okay? And then we can start making a bezel.